Boom. Alright guys, so we're going to do a money making guide. Here's the methods. Um, we're going to be using melee training, range training, your construction skills, flipping, and your gathering skills. Alright, so for you lower level guys, we got um, druids, both chaos and the regular ones at the druid circle. Um, I'd be killing chaos druids and Ardeno instead of the other spot in Taverly Dungeon because it's an easier bank, which leads to higher profits. You're going to be wanting to pick up the herbs, runes, and mithril bolts. Um, also, hill giants are good for low guys, um, bush snakes as well. For a little bit higher greens and blues, um, obviously, you pick up the dragon bones and the hides and all that other shit. Basilisks, you're going to need a 40 slayer for that, um, and they do make decent money, but a lot of it's from the alking and uh, the herbs that you get. Alright, so this one's going to be a little bit um, limited, I guess, because you're going to be working with safe spots. Uh, the Druid Circle, you can safe spot. Greens, Reds, and Blacks, safe spots. Zazar, same. Flesh Crawlers, not so much, but they don't hit you very often, but you do make quite a bit of money with their drops there. It's nice. Alright, so you're can. Uh, construction skills like herb lore fletching and so forth you're going to be needing to um, calculate your profits so um, you're going to want to calculate your raw materials how much those costs um, compared to the um, selling price of the item that you're making um, I mean you can as long as you're pushing prices down you can pretty much make money off of anything um, but then again you have to be a really good merchant you know be really steady on your prices but uh, yeah, here are some z examples of the shit that you guys could be doing. For cooking, it's a little bit harder, so I do like monks, probably, because that's the only thing I could think of. Okay, so a couple things you want to remember about merchanting are, obviously, you always want to buy under, uh, hopefully way under if you can. Always be looking for someone who's just selling like a bunch of whatever item, like just really cheap, so they can make a quick buck or whatever. And then every single time you see someone do that, take advantage of that shit because that doesn't happen super awesome, so um, or super often. But it is awesome when it does. So always look for that. You gotta stay updated on your items. Stick in um, World One. Um, Far Rock West Bank is my favorite place to check out. Um, people are always merchanting there and selling their items. A couple items you want to flip. PKing supplies, skilling supplies, armor and weapons, and check the RuneScape boards for um, people selling things cheaply. A couple of gathering methods you could do is Hunter. Obviously, once you get to 63, you can do Red Chins. Price is usually pretty high on those. It's my favorite method of making money, actually. Uh, mining, if you want to do... Uh, Rune Order goes for, like... 12k a piece. piece. If you can take the time and get 85 mining, it's actually really worth it. Like more than anything, I could say. Like you could just world hop really fast around and like just catch as much rune ore as you can. You can actually make up to a mill an hour if you do it like yeah. absolutely perfectly and you get the right time. Wood cutting, I'd stick with use major kind of. A little higher up there, a little slower. Fishing can land you like 45 mil from getting to 99 and. uh you know, selling common quest items like um, black sets and things like that. Alrighty, thanks guys. Stay tuned. Follow us. What's up, bro?